Greetings, traders out there in Trader Land. It's Thursday, December 13th, 2012. My name's Des, Des Woodruff, and for the at least the next few minutes will be your enlightenment to the stock market as a whole. So let me share with you what we're seeing here in technical analyst land. We have the S&P down 0.63%, the Dow down 0.56%, NASDAQ down 0.7%, Russell's down 0.6%, the banks off by 0.56%, lagging most of today, so it doesn't sh surprise me that today's bullish move at the beginning of the day did fell. VIX up nearly 3%, now over 16 Gold off by 0.8%. Silver off by a whopping 2.6%. Crude oil off by 0.6%. Commodities as a whole took it on the chin. U.S. dollar up only and merely a fraction. Transportation, however, did exceptionally well compared to what the other major indices were doing. Not too shabby as far as transportation is concerned. But here's what we talked about yesterday. I said, I'm betting my dollar that the markets are going to drop today, Thursday, and going into Friday. And that's because of what we were sh showing in yesterday's video. Go back to that video if you did not watch that. And I gave you a lot of tips, tricks, and indications of what we were seeing to show that we had a highly probable chance of a market dropping here today. And sure enough, we got a lower high and a lower low. Nice little drop here. We did find support at the 50-day simple moving average. And we have the 20-day moving up. All the major moving averages coiling together. But this is what to be expected when you have a rising wedge. And you pop up over these moving averages ever so slightly. And you'll see a reversal usually commence. Taking a look here at the weekly chart, we are coming to an end of the week, but uh, we're setting up for a very brutal bearish week next week. You have this little pullback, and this is a bear pullback, bear rally, if you will. And then we have the shooting star. Now, listen, tomorrow I expect volatility uh, maybe be on the light side and, and also volume to be on the light side. And so I don't expect to see too much of a change of this candlestick if that happens. I will be looking forward to a sizable drop coming into this next week. And it could probably last several weeks. So it's something to be watching for on the monthly chart. We keep hitting this resistance, and that resistance is rejecting those bulls, and we keep falling back down. So let's take a look here at Apple, see how Apple did today. Apple, ooh, a gap down. Not great at all. But we're back in these areas of a buying opportunity. So if you miss this buying opportunity, I think we have another one here. This is proved to be a major area of support. We're back there, nice volume. But I'm telling you, if we start dropping below this area, be looking at 500 as a big time, huge buying opportunity. But I'm not sure if it'll get down there. Take a look at Facebook. Facebook, wow, nice breaking out, looking really, really strong. Facebook continues to be all odds. And let's also take a look at Google. And ooh, this is nasty. Big gap up and a sell off. Now, this could be the end of its little run here. So I would be getting stop losses in place and be looking to take profits if you are long this. This is not what we wanted to see after such a nice breakout the other day. We needed to see some follow through, and we're seeing people sell into that strength, so that's no good. Let's take a look at gold. Gold, just a mess. Big gap down today. Let's try to rally, but it's on the wrong side of this trend line, gang. That is big time problems. Big time problems. I see us only going down for a little bit, maybe get to 162. So there you have it. If you, I did send out an email to you earlier today. Well, that's if you're registered on our website. If so, send out an email of a video that marked it on a trade just to show a trade and um, highlight the Grokstar chat room that we do each morning. Trade an hour, maybe two, and be done for the day. So I hope my videos have been of help to you. Still contemplating if I'm going to do the morning videos. I continue to get people saying that they do watch those. And um, I would be interested to hear from you. Give me a reason why you are watching those and how they benefit you. And, um, and we may see if we'll 
recontinue those. So anyway, hopefully I'll be your mentor soon. Be thinking about 2013 and January mentorship. It's several weeks away, so you got some time to think about it. Take care and safe trading.